Huddle Cam HD presents Back to the Basics Live, a high definition broadcast Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on Facebook Live. Back to the Basics is all about video conferencing, full of product line tutorials and best practices. Bring your questions for a live Q&A session in the post show. We review online meeting and live streaming technology every week during our advanced learning sessions. And now, back to the basics live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Back to the Basics, Huddle Cam HD's training sessions weekly, uh, streamed here on Facebook Live in 720 and recorded in 1080p for our YouTube uh, viewers out there watching after the live stream. If you do want to watch the live streams, head over to Facebook.com slash HuddleCamHD1 and you can like our page and get all of the information and ask us questions. The live questions are so important during our show. So today we are talking about live stream, or actually a control cam, uh, controlling uh, the cameras. And I've got two cameras in front of me here. So I'm going to go ahead and take my lower third off for a second to show the two cameras in front of me and the Rokosoft PTZ Joy controller that we are going to be using to demonstrate far end camera control with the PTZ cameras from HuddleCam HD. So before I go too deep into uh, the software, what I wanted to do is show a quick presentation to kind of explain what we're going to be doing here. So first of all, we have the um, Broco Soft Control software. It's a Windows-based control software that is built for camera control with Huddle Cam HD. So it's going to give us full pan tilt zoom controls anywhere in the world via your network. So if you can log into your network via a um, you know, there's all kinds of VPNs, virtual private network connections, uh, log me in, bunch of different ways. We're going to show this on smartphones and our computers and camera control really gets extended. So we have far end camera control for those remote presentations where you might be outside of the room and wanting to uh, control or operate a pan tilt zoom camera during a conference. We have universal serial protocols. So we're going to use the advanced Sony Visca protocols which are going to have a lot of different commands we'll look into. Macro support along with an advanced preset visualizer which I wanted to show off. And finally support for things like exposure and white balance and a whole bunch more. So I'll look at the software here. We're going to dig into this in a little more detail, but there's quite a few different options. We're going to use a joystick controller to control the cameras, a USB joystick, uh, which I have right here. This USB joystick is going to be able to control the cameras. Let's see, I'll turn that on. Um, you can see here. And then we're also going to be able to use a virtual joystick and hotkeys. The virtual joystick is right here. So we're going to be able to use that. You can see how responsive it is. We're going to control multiple cameras. Uh, so just by clicking camera two, let's see right here, um, we can actually now control the secondary camera and control lots of different cameras in a chain. So we'll show how all that is set up. Uh, but yes, this is a very uh, interesting software that has a lot of applications. Uh, there's a preset visualizer we'll look at. You can even have um, a little preview monitor inside there's eight or six camera select buttons, and then presets can be named. So with allowing you to name the presets is a really great option as well. So um, the connection is going still going to be USB for video. So we are going to use USB 3.0 for our video, and then we are going to use an RS-232 to DB9 connection for video. And let me show you what that looks like. So basically, this is the camera here. This is connected to the DB9 port. So, or sorry, this is the 8-pin uh, mini DIN um, serial connection, which comes out DB9, and then we can daisy chain these in and out to multiple cameras, as you can see here. This camera as well is coming in via the RS-232, and then I've got my joystick separately here, which is going in via USB. So I like to kind of show the actual products there. Um, so the DB9 connection, I have an, 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 on the next slide, I have a picture of this. This is the DB9 to USB adapter. These can be picked up for like $20. It is required to basically take the serial Visca connections and plug it into your computer to USB, and then we just connect that COM port 
to the serial software, as I'll show you in a moment, um, which will kind of tie everything together. Um, here's some pictures. So there's the DB9 cable. Uh, this is that that tan cable there is a DB9 extension. I used a short DB9 extension, but we sell on our website 25, 50, 75, and 100 foot DB9 extensions. A lot of times these are used with our joystick controllers, which are DB9 to RS-232, and you can see on the back of the cameras it converts to an 8-pin mini DIN. And then the second cable there, that's considered a cascade cable. So it goes 8-pin mini DIN to 8-pin mini DIN. Um, so this is kind of uh, traditional serial RS-232 Visca stuff, and I wanted to show these pictures there. You can see the USB plugging into a USB hub, and that is how all the connections are being wor worked. So let's jump right into the demo, and then we'll talk about how to gain far-end camera control as well. So um, first of all, let me just go through the software here on the side. So at the very top, you can see I can control the camera and that's called a virtual joystick but by clicking this USB joy button you see that there I can also basically turn on the hotkeys and control them with these little buttons here or my USB joystick and this is just a twenty dollar USB joystick um, that's like a gaming joystick so it's very very um, you know commonly used in the industry and I can zoom in and out I can choose the speed at which I want it to zoom in and out and focus um, and then these hotkeys here when that's enabled the hotkeys button that allows you to actually control the camera with a regular um, keyboard a wireless keyboard and mouse so that's technically a form of wireless camera control uh, so you could just in anywhere in your room have that enabled as well I'm not going to turn that on because I'm using my keyboard for other things right now as you can imagine um, there's preset controls so as you can see right here camera 2 is set so I'm just going to go to camera 1 and that's how easy it is to basically change between camera 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and you can name them so camera 1 here I have 20x actually sorry camera 1 is 20x and camera 2 and, and so on so you can set those and name them also presets can be named so now that I have camera 1 if I go to preset 1 I could say left oh do I have my I gotta turn USB joint off I think preset 2 oh there it is so preset 2 is right and preset 3 is left you see those names in there that's um, highly I think a lot of people enjoy that because of the fact that you can go ahead and you know have real names for things as opposed to you know just remembering what preset one two and three actually are they can have real names um, so that's all that cameras we have iris shutter and speed control I also have this button here at the bottom where it says web control on and what web control allows us to do is to control the cameras via a smartphone um, so let me go ahead and zoom in here and I'll show you my smartphone right here that is my smartphone and that is connected to the IP address of the Rokosoft software so now I can actually control the cameras via my uh, iPhone and you can see here there's presets and the ability to quickly switch between multiple cameras and so that's all done via any computer with a web browser input so that makes it nice and easy to be able to do that by the way Tess is not here today forgot to mention that um, she will be um, she is working on um, something at home today and then so, so we talked about the iPhone we talked about the iPad I also have on my computer here the ability to pull it up via a, you can see this is my computer I can also control the camera directly through there as well which is quite nice um, joystick and the virtual joy are actually the most responsive but the webcam commands can help especially for just calling presets that's what it's really the best for is to go ahead in there boop call a preset and it works really nicely that way so we got a couple more minutes um, I wanted to talk a little bit about this remote control um, situation where from anywhere in the world you may want to be able to control the cameras so for example um, if we are in our local area network so the camera is plugged into the computer and the computer is plugged into your network 
any device on your network can type in the IP address that's served up by RocoSoft when, and this will cover me up for a second, the on button in the web control is on, and when that is on, it serves up the, the camera control to anything on your network. There is also a way to have an IP controller um, connected, which is a little bit more responsive. And then finally, we can have an outside IP address. Now, the outside IP address um, is an, what's called an external IP address. So, for example here, um, the external IP address is 173.162.232.69. That's the external IP address of this. Now, that is fine. I can give that to you because it's not necessarily going to get through my firewall. I would need my IT department to port forward or make that IP address and port available to the outside world in order to control this from anywhere in the world and not have to worry about a VPN into the network. So that is one way and you can set up security with passwords and things like that. So really camera control from anywhere in the world. This is compatible with all of our cameras with RS-232 and can work in conjunction with existing Sony cameras. So if you have a Sony camera and you want to go ahead and um, put that in line with the Huddle Cam camera, this will work. Uh, we have all the control cabling available, the 3X, the 3X wide, the 10X720, the 10X G3, the 20X G2, and the 30X. They all will work with this software so you can remotely control them. And that's pretty much it. Um, this video will be going up on our um, on our Udemy channel where you can actually take all of our Back to the Basics courses along with a ton of great um, courses on the camera um, line itself. So I hope that was helpful, everyone. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. That's all, and I will stick around on Facebook to answer your questions. Thank you for tuning in for this week's Back to the Basics Live. Your participation drives the conversation forward for technology enthusiasts around the world. Looking for more? Engage with industry professionals just like you in our Facebook user group. See you next week on Back to the Basics Live.